So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays in New DAX Function every single Friday. Now, as you have seen on the title of this video, uh, we're not going to do any practical DAX today, we're going to do philosophical DAX. <laughs> I'm going to answer the question that you saw. Where should we do our calculated columns? Should we do it on Power Query or should we do it on DAX? And if you ask me, there's only one way to do this and it's gotta be Power Query. Power Query all day long. Now, this is true 99% of the times. There are always exceptions to any rule, but first Power Query, then DAX. Why? Okay, I'm going to give you two reasons why I think this is true. Reason number one, it is that, you know, VertiPack engine, the one that does all the DAX calculations, is stores columns that come from Power Query the same way that it does columns that come directly from DAX, which is a good thing, but there is a big, big but, and it's the data structure. How are those columns stored? And if you watch my Very Park series, you know this already. If you haven't watched them, please go and check them out. They're very, very important. Data gets compressed in Power BI. That's one of the reasons why it is so fast doing calculations and a lot of rows of data. And when data gets compressed in Power Query, the performance is much, much better than when it gets compressed on VeriPack. So the compression engine works better from columns that come from Power Query than those that are stored directly on the engine. So they have been done with DAX. And that means that your models will get smaller. So if you're having problems that you're hitting the limits with size, this is one trick that you can actually apply to get smaller models. And it is an easy one, actually. So imagine, you know, I've seen it a thousand times, calendars made in DAX, like 40 columns are <laughs> made in DAX, which is absolutely insane. I always move them to Power Query, first thing first, and that makes a huge improvement by, you know, right away. Okay, second one. The second one, it has to do with data refresh. This is how Power BI refreshes data. First, you press the refresh button and then Power BI goes to Power Query and says, hey, Power Query, what data do you have? And then Power Query goes through the sources, as I have this table, that table, that table, and these steps, and compresses the data, moves it into VertiPack. So that is one refresh time. Now, once it gets to VertiPack, VertiPack has to check it, like, do I have any calculated columns? because they have to get refreshed too, right? And then stored in memory. So you will get two refresh times. It's not that it's like double the time, but well, it depends on how many columns you've made in DAX, obviously, but, but your refresh time will be longer. So if you are having trouble with refresh time, make sure you move all your calculated columns to Power Query or to the source. Push things to the source. If you have that query, come on, do that. It is much more effective than having calculated columns in DAX. So you might tell me like, okay, so why on earth, if it is that bad to have calculated columns, do they exist? Like, well, there are times, yes, there are times where you need to have calculated columns because it is not possible to have those in Power Query. It could be because the functionality does not exist or it is too complicated that it just doesn't make sense to do it in Power Query that you do it in DAX. Or it could basically be that the columns that you are going to do, you know, the calculations that you want, the new column that you want to create, it is dependent on the measure that you have created on VeriPack on the model and that measure that data does not exist in Power Query. So you have no, it doesn't make any sense to make those calculations in Power Query, basically. Don't do calculations in Power Query, do, do them in uh, VeriPack. And in those cases, then the calculated column will have to be done in DAX. So it is not like a, 
seen <laughs> like you know many to many relationships you should avoid them but you know there are cases that you need them and then you use them but that should be the least amount of times that you do it the last thing now i hear this all the time the reason why i do things in dax is because i feel more comfortable with dax which is amazing <laughs> how could that be jokes aside here's the thing if you are, you know, be a professional, I have been working with languages like DAX or DAX for years and you feel comfortable using it, it's like, oh, I have to learn a new language. Like, oh my God, I, I don't have the time or I don't want to do it, basically. Here's the thing, you don't have to learn um, to do Power Query. You just don't. 95% of the transformations, unless you're doing like super duper ETL things, which you probably shouldn't do in Power Query anyway, can be done with the user interface in Power Query. It's as simple as that. And the rest you can actually Google. <laughs> you will be fine. It is click, click, click. Power Query was a tool designed for business user in Excel. It is click, click, click for real. And then if you want to do more complicated transformations, then you need to know a little bit of M, but you don't need to learn M to be able to do cleaning process in Power Query. It's just not that hard. So if you are one of these VA professionals that prefer DAX, give Power Query a go. You will be amazed of the things that you can do in Power Query with just the user interface. Click, click, click for, for real. It is that easy. It is that good. And if you do that, your models will be smaller, <laughs> which we like, and they will refresh faster. What else do you need to know? Why would you do things in DAX? No more, right? Okay, now it is your time. Let me know on the comment box if you prefer to do it in DAX and why, or if you agree with me and it should be done in Power Query and you have additional reasons for doing so. I would love to hear it. Okay, I am going to stop talking. It is Friday, so let's begin the weekend with Power Query in mind. How about that? Okay, I'll see you again on Monday. And until then, take care. And bye bye.